Dude, that's a monster, Cody. Oh my, this might be my PB. Oh my gosh, it's a 10 pounder, bro. It's a 10 pounder, Cody. Oh my God. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Today, we're actually out in this beautiful pond. It's been a minute since we've done some pond fishing. We've been tournament fishing left and right, been river fishing all the time. And now we're like, hey, let's go bank fishing. Let's try to catch some big fish. More importantly, we're gonna be frog fishing today. So we're gonna start off this morning throwing a frog around. See if we can get some big ones to come up and eat it. There's a lot of grass over in this other pond, right along the edge and in this back corner. And I think if we can get that frog in the right spot, we can get some really good blow ups. Um, I got my combo out today, my topwater combo. I got a box of frogs. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're gonna be doing, throwing. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell right next to it. Also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. But let's go ahead and uh, see what we got. So. Today I'm going to be throwing my top water on this Mach 2 combo and this is the thing, this is my walking bait, popper, buzz bait combo. Um, usually for a frog I'm using a heavy rod. This one's a little flimsy, it doesn't have as much backbone but I think it's going to work for the job that we need to get done today. So I got my frog box right here, got a bunch of sexy frogs, I also got some of the popping pickles, and just in white and black right here, a bunch of different frogs. I got some natural colors. And then pretty much some white and blacks. So this one's kind of tan. Then we got it's really green and yellow frogs right there. This is what I usually do. This is a brand new frog. I haven't used this one yet. And they come with these silicone legs on them, right? They come off each side. One thing I like to do is trim them down. So I grab both the ends, but I'm actually going to cut about that much of the silicone off. Boom. Just like that. So comparing it to a brand new one before we chopped it, look at the difference there. Huge difference. I will say with these on it, when they're a little longer, the bait is a little bit easier to walk. But when it comes down to it, I've always trimmed my frogs. I think it looks more natural. And uh, in my opinion, I get more bites. So that's the frog that we're going to be throwing. We're going to go ahead and tie it up on this Mach 2 combo. If you guys want to check out any of the baits or rods and reels I'm using, links will be down below, discount codes as well. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. Let's go ahead and get it started. All right, we got our frog tied on. So this is what Cody was talking about when he pulled up earlier. Look at all this slop on top of the water. It just looks so good. It's not like a ton of grass, like thick vegetation, but it's just a bunch of nasty gook. And we actually walked down this bank. There's a lot of it that goes down as well. We've seen a lot of boils. So I think we might get lucky. I didn't think we were gonna get on a frog bite today, but we might have a few really good bites. So we're gonna go ahead and get started casting around this. See if we can get something to come up through it. On um, that corner right there with the shade and the slop on top of the water, there's gotta be a big one there. So let's go ahead and get it started, see if we can catch one. So I actually cut off that natural color frog that I had on before. And I'm tying on this white perch right here. It's very similar to the pop and pickle, but for the pop and perch, except for it doesn't have a pop and mouth. It's the same bait, just without a pop and mouth, which I wish I had one. I just don't have any with me. I think they'll end up eating this white really good. And I just really like the end on this right here, the silicone end. It's not like there's little legs, it's just different. And I've caught so many fish on these little perches right here. And uh, I just think it can get a really big one. So we're gonna try this out and see if we can get something to come up for it. There's one right there up on me. I've been waiting to find one on the grass and the one grass patch I didn't throw it to. Are they? There he is, that's a big and two boy. 
That's a big one too. Let's go, baby. Good one to start it off with. Mm-hmm. Let's get it, baby. Look at that. First fish today. Not a giant, but that is a great fish right there. Got him on that white popping perch, or that white perch <laughs> by striking. Oh, that's sweet. Took us a second to get a bite, but that is just a beautiful bass right there. Not really fat, but he's a good long fish, healthy. <laughs> that's a nice one. Way to start it off right there. Not a giant, but that's a good fish. Got to start somewhere. Thank you, buddy. He was right over there on that grass patch. First bite today on the old froggy -o. Give me some, Cody. About six pounder, dude. You see his mouth? No, I didn't. Gosh. I was looking at the camera. He messed there. my reel up really bad, too. Oh, I don't even know what happened. Well, things have not been easy this morning, but you know, that's fishing, it happens. So we're uh, retying. I just had to fix my rod. I had to, had to go back to the truck and get some cutters because we didn't have any on us. But I think we're going to have another bite. I mean, there's some really big fish in this corner. Every like five to 10 minutes, there's fish coming up for bait. So if we just get this thing in the right spot and get the right one to bite, that was a big one that we lost a second ago. His teeth marks all over this thing, but we just retied. Everything's good to go. <laughs> what? <No>. <laughs> I hate braid, bro. <laughs> I love braid, but I hate braid. <laughs> I about literally threw my rod in the water. Like that, that was two seconds before my whole rod was going in the water. Look at all that bait, bro. Please eat it right here. baby that was just a warning shot yeah. you don't want to eat it never had it <laughs> now way too long i stuck him i'm pretty sure Gosh. first time he doesn't have it and then the second time i try to be cautious with him wait and he has it <laughs> i got it up. oh my gosh what is going on here i mean just <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it's probably my dang rod. That's what I was talking about at the beginning. If I had a little bit more backbone, I could probably get those fish. It's just a long cast to make with a rod that's not meant for this frog. They're eating it over there, I'll tell you that. Gotta be more than one. Dude, that is a freaking huge one. I keep missing them. I'm leaning into these big ones, bro. They're not small either. I just, I'm too far away. Hey, do that one more time. 
Hose. Oh. <laughs> Dude, he ate it and then all of a sudden it floated to the top right when I decided to hook set. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Dude, back up, back up, come on. You're riding an ant, slip your shoe. That's what, oh my god. That is ridiculous. Were they biting you? Yeah, they're all over me. I thought I felt something. I can't get a break, bro. Every time we like try to film something that's just not really, let's just say realistic, you know? Like, I hate to break it to everybody watching, but these fish are not wanting a frog. But me and Cody are like, you know what, instead of like a three hour day of fishing, let's just turn it into a 12 hour day and suffer through all these things. I knew something was wrong. I was like, there's something on me. Something biting me. Here we go. I didn't really think this one through. I gotta hook him over that tree. Might as well make it more interesting today, right? Anything and everything that can happen will happen. We're just getting started. I know. There you go. He ain't big, but he's something. <laughs> Look how that one ate it, though. See, that one ate it how they're supposed to. <laughs> He's not even a big one. He ate it good, though. He ate it right off that tree. Right when I got up to the front of it. Good thing he wasn't, like, three times his size because it probably would have been impossible for me to get him out. Of. But second fish today that we landed, we've had a good couple of bites. But it's a pretty one. I'm glad he ate it good. Thank you, baby. Nice old fish. What was that noise? All right, so we've been fishing with this frog for a while now. I'm actually gonna bring out a different bait just so we can try to keep the momentum rolling. We're gonna still carry this with us, make some casts with it, but I'm also gonna fish with this big worm as well. We've been smoking them on a big worm recently. So uh, we're gonna give it a shot. I was about to walk up on this pipe and I just noticed that there's a fish up here. So let's see if we can catch them. What the? Interesting. I swear that was a bite. Dude, that was insane. I had every fish in that corner going wild. Did you see that? Yeah, you ate it like a top water. They won't eat a top water, but then I put a worm on. Start reeling it at the top and they slam it. Not a big one. That's a little guy. But that is our first fish. Not on a frog today. Pick up that worm. We covered a lot of water, guys. These fish are just being so finicky today. I don't know what it is. That bad boy ate it right away. He ain't big, but he's something. You gotta keep the ball rolling. Fish number three. Thank you, baby. Dude, that was so cool. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> I was reeling that sucker in and uh, he decided to try to blow up on it. I just kind of let him do his thing and uh, he ended up getting the worm. <laughs> that was sweet. Look at that. Not a bad one. He's only got one eye too. Pretty little fish. Destroyed it. <laughs> that was a cool bite. Thank you, baby.
Ain't big, but he's something. <laughs> we were just missing all the big ones today and deciding to catch all the runts, but I'm telling you, we're gonna get one. Just a matter of time. We're finally just keeping it flowing. Little guy. Thank you, bud. Oh, what was that? What? What was that noise, bro? <laughs> It was No, it was a fishy line. Oh, shit. it got wrapped around. Hey, <laughs> Dude, I've never seen you so scared in my life. I thought I on it. Jesus. Dude, that is hilarious. Dude, you gotta put that in the video. That is so funny. I just don't see that this bait can go by a fish's nose right now and then not eat it. Uh-oh. Dude, that's a monster, Cody. Monster. I can't even move him. Oh my... It, this might be my PB. Oh my gosh, it's a 10 pounder, bro. It's a 10 pounder, Cody. Oh my gosh, dude, that might be bigger. Holy. It's a 10 pounder. Oh my gosh. <sighs> How big is that? Is that a 10? Dude, that's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> My shoe is soaked. I stepped right in the water to get this sucker. He was barely hooked. Look at that brute, bro. Oh my God. Do we have a scale? I don't have one with me, do you? No. It's every time we don't have it. Oh We've had it how many days this month? Every day? Every day. We've had a scale with us. The one day that we go pond fishing and catch a freaking 10. <laughs> Dude, that is a freaking massive fish right there cody that is huge i was just talking about i'm like how can one not bite this all of a sudden i hooked this guy i could tell how big he was and then he just started pulling my drag bro that, that fish is yeah. yeah that's a 10 pounder <laughs> there ain't no doubt about that my shoe soaked bro i stepped right in the pond just to get her it was worth it i know how big she was yeah <laughs> that it is almost pulled you in at one point did you hear it goes yeah. pulling my drag dude i didn't think i was gonna land her Oh yeah, dude, that's every bit of nine, 10 pounds. I think she's 10. Yeah. I mean, she's so she's big. Out. That's the biggest fish I've caught in probably a year and a half, two years. Holy cow, brother. It has been a tough day, but I guess it panned out. <laughs> that is a freaking tank. I just know the camera's not doing the justice right now, but we've caught a lot of what seven eight pounders this year yeah. even a nine yeah this is way bigger than any other i mean dude i don't know if the camera can even do the justice but it's bigger than my tort dude look at this i mean come on dog <sighs> let's get her back in the water you got to keep these fish healthy but we're gonna actually release her on this other side of the bank go down here we can get by the water guys it's always a blessing just getting out to go fishing and you go out and you hook one like that it just feels so good that's the biggest fish i've held in two years <laughs> We've caught some massive fish. I hate it. I hate that we don't have a scale. I mean, look at that tail, how thick it is. Oh, gosh. That is a freaking mammoth, Cody. Oh, there she goes. Wow. Wow. Cody, let's freaking go, dude. Oh my gosh. After the morning that we've had, it has been so brutally tough. But we kept our heads down, didn't we? Yeah, we did. It's been tough. We've been sweating our butts off. I don't even think we've caught a fish in the last two hours. No, dude. Just fighting off these gnats, the heat. We probably walked four miles today. Oh, easy. And, uh, you know, yesterday we went out on the river for just an hour, hour and a half. Caught 25 to 30 fish on a jerk bait. I told him, I was like, let's just bring out the lucky bait. Freaking spanks a double digit. <laughs> That's sweet. That's awesome. Oh gosh. Guys, I'm at a loss of words right now. We had such a tough day and we turned it around just like that. I told Cody, I was like, we were all exhausted walking around this pond in the heat. 
and all of a sudden like one fish right there can just change the whole situation our adrenaline was pumping and that was just a crazy moment for us but that was my pb on a jerk bait that's the biggest fish i've ever caught on a jerk bait um, that was probably the biggest fish I've caught in two years. I mean, it's been a while since I've caught one that big. We caught, uh, you know, Cody's caught a few eights this year. I've caught a few eights, even a nine this year. And that fish didn't even compare. We were both looking at it like, dude, this is just ridiculous. I laid him in my my hand and his whole tail was thicker than my wrist. I mean, that that fish was so big. And, and just to catch him on a jerk bait just made it so much better. The way he was tugging and pulling. It was just so much fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Please share this video with a friend. Go show them that big old fish because that was just a fire clip. I'd really like to see more people see that. If you guys could, also hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you all in the next video.